I just want y'all to appreciate this outfit real quick. I look cute. Um, I got dressed up because I'm having a literal mental. I'm just gonna rant and rampage like a normal teenage girl on the internet. Am I a teenager? I'm 19. Huh? Hmm? What? Whatever! Whatever! <laughs> oh, I'm so angry. Whatever! Whatever! <laughs> Whatever! <laughs> I'm laughing to keep from crying. <laughs> so welcome back to the channel. I got some videos coming for y'all soon. I don't need to worry about that. Um, I've had a lot going on in the past three months. When I say a lot, I do mean a lot. I know I say that every video, but y'all know me. Whatever! Whatever! I'm, I haven't been this angry maybe in a long time, but y'all gonna know what's wrong with me after this video. Y'all just gonna know. Let me fix my choker. Let me fix my choker, worker, doker, doker, choker, doker, smoker, worker, choker, All right. Hello. All right. So if you read the title, yes. Something's always happening to me. I can never catch a break. Something is always happening to me. I don't know why. I'm such a good white Christian woman. I don't know what's wrong. I need to tell y'all something because it's going to benefit the story later on in the future. I work, I have two jobs, technically three, but since YouTube don't want to run me my checks anymore, they want to disable my comments and not my my videos anymore, it's two. I have two different jobs. One of them is a restaurant. The other one is a kid's establishment. I won't say what it is because it's quite popular and... I don't want to get in trouble and I don't want to have anything against them because it's not really their fault. But I'm not allowed to say where I work. Um, just know it's a very popular place where kids can play games and win tickets and have fun. I can't say what it's called. You probably already know what it's called just by that, but you, maybe you won't. It's quite popular, not really popular. Well, it, 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 it's got its recognition. It's got its, it, it has its exposure. So I think it's quite well known. When I agreed to work here two years ago, I they told me, okay, when you work here, you have to sign a contract that states you can't mention anything about race, gender, sexuality, none of that. Because this is a kid's place and we want to keep it a kid's place. So we would appreciate it if you didn't talk about that with your peers or your coworkers. I'm just trying to get this, you know, get this cash, get this money, get this work so I can go on home and waste it on some bullshit. So I'm like, okay, yeah, great. I'll sign the contract, whatever, because I thought it wasn't going to happen. Two years later, it happens. I want you to remember this rule. I want you to remember this uh, contract signing that I did because it's going gonna, it's gonna to make sense as soon as I start explaining the story. It's going to hit you like a, like a, like a big ass tsunami. Like just, uh, 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 uh. It's going to hit you real quick. This place, we're going to call this place the Zebra Crib. <laughs> The what? Yeah, the zebra crib. Yeah, the zebra crib. The zebra crib. So I work at the zebra crib three to four days a week from 12 to 6. Oops, uh, getting my story off track because I'm trying not to have a goddamn mental breakdown. My ADHD is kicking in. Let's keep it, 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 keep it. Keep it. Work, 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 work. That's my deal. It's been like that for the past two years. I decided, let me go in early today. I'm the type of person, <laughs> if you have a job, there's that one person that always comes in at the exact time every day. That's me. I don't come in and know 11.59. I don't come in and know 11.59.55.26. I don't come in and know 11.59.99.99.99. I come in as soon as that clock hits 12. Because that's just me. I will hit, I will, when I order an Uber, sometimes when I go to work, I literally make the Uber wait. I'm like, uh-uh, you ain't leaving me until it hits 12 o'clock. You're not leaving me. But most of the time, now that my mom's home, she drives me to work. Um, did I tell you my mom was home? Yeah, she's home. So she drives me She drives me to work now, drives, picks me up from work now. Before that, it was like Ubers and stuff because I can't drive. 19 years old and can't drive. How embarrassing. This time, I came in at 11. Because I woke up really, really early and I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm not going to be able to take a nap or go back to sleep. Mom, can you drive me to work? I guess I'll go in early. I come into work at 11 and people are just flabbergasted. They're shook. They're shocked. Some, I think I, I heard some of their bones quiver when I came in. They're like, oh, Skylar, you came in early today? And I'm like, yo, yo. You know, like, she keep bang, bang. She at exactly 12, no 11.55, no, I punch in exactly at 12, leave exactly at 6. 
No, no, no. I don't play with. I don't play with that. I come in right when they need me to. I dumbass. Everything I try to. Every time I try to do something good, I was like, well, let me be good. Let me be a nice employee and come in early today, so maybe I can help out. You know, maybe some of the employees that need some help, or maybe if they're running low on the you know. And now that I think about it, if I hadn't have came in early, this probably wouldn't have happened, and this probably wouldn't even happen to me. So I'm not coming in early no more. Uh, uh, where I work, zebra, zebra crib. I'm not. I ain't coming in early no more. I ain't coming in early no more. Y'all don't trick me. I ain't coming in early no more. I'm coming in. At, I'm coming at 12:01 now. <laughs> Y'all thought 12:01 it is. <laughs> Y'all got me. <laughs> fucked up everything smooth sailing i have two positions at zebra Creek. first position is you know when the kids win the prizes and they go to redeem their tickets and they go up to the person to pick their prize that's me i don't know what that's called i don't know what role that's called but that's me when when you win your prize you come up to me so i can get it for you because i'm a sweet little angel because i get everything for the kids second job is when the face painter the the official face painter maybe calls in sick or uh, maybe needs to go out of town for something. I tend to fill in for her because I can face paint So that's two of my positions um, Sometimes I sometimes I end up face painting more than I do the front desk So that's actually kind of weird. had the desk position where I'm sitting, you know, if anyone has any questions they come to me um, If someone loses their bracelet they come to me if someone has a whole bunch of tickets and they want this big-ass Nerf gun they come to me a kid comes up to me sweet as can be he's a little boy maybe eight nine ten at most Sweet little boy comes up to me and says, excuse me, ma'am. And I'm like, yeah, what's wrong? Is there something wrong? And he says, I just want a whole bunch of tickets. I'm like, oh, that's great. That's awesome. You know, I got to put on my, you know, my, not fakeness, because I don't mind working with little kids now, now that I think about it. Maybe not little kids, but just, I don't mind working with kids as much as I used to years ago. Like four years ago, you wouldn't catch me at a job. Oh, <laughs> no, but I'm more chill now, so I don't mind it. And he, cause you know, kids ask dumbass questions. Kids ask the dumbest questions, but they're kids, so you can't really, you can't really get them, cause they're kids. You know, they're naive, quite naive. Um, so he comes up to me and he says, "Excuse me, ma'am, I noticed that a lot of these prizes look like girls' toys. Is there anything here for boys?" I look at him. I want to say that's a dumbass question, but that's rude. He don't, he don't know any better. He don't know any better. So I'm like, oh, you know, all of these, you know, all of these, you know, toys here. And I, you know, point around the area. You know, all of these are for anybody. You know, a girl can have a boy's toy. A boy can have a girl's toy. Because, you know, there's really no gender to these to uh, toys. So anything that you want, I can give you a TR right now. And, I'm a, and I will gladly give it to you. That's what I said to him. And I quote. That's exactly what I said. He says, okay, ma'am. Thank you. Runs off. And I guess goes to get his tickets or I guess just runs off. And I didn't see him for maybe about 20 more minutes. He comes back. But he comes back. You ready for this? With his mom. So usually when they, co when they come back with their parents, they're ready to pick out what they want and I'll get it for them. No. Uh -huh, this woman was not that to me and said, can I talk to you for a minute? And she, she comes in really closely. She leans her arms on the table. Can I talk to you for a minute? And I'm like, sure, ma'am, what's wrong? She says, are you the girl who told my son that any of these kids are, uh, any of these kids, are, or, ooh, mm, that's not right. Are any of these toys for any girl or boy? You said any of these toys are for girls and boys? I said, why, yes, ma'am, you know, we have a wonderful selection of gifts, you know, prizes, gift cards, Nerf guns, uh, princess tiaras um makeup kits like i was just naming stuff off just be naming stuff off there's even like a huge ass bike behind me if you get like i don't know how many tickets you gotta win to get that but like a wonderful mountain bike that you can win for a certain amount of tickets and she comes up to me and she says well i don't effing appreciate you telling my son that and i'm like oh there's curse oh oh there's cursing involved okay I didn't know we were doing cursing today. <laughs> I didn't know we were doing that today. No, 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 I didn't know because this is, we were around fucking children. I mean, being all cute and sweet, you know, man, what do you mean? And she says, you know what I mean. You don't tell my son that he should have girls toys. He's a boy. And I say, man, that's not what I said. I said, any of these toys here, ma'am, you see here are for girls or for boys. That's exactly what I said. I did not say that he could have a girl's toy. I just simply said if I could put a princess tiara on your head, I would give it to you if you had the tickets. That's, I was just using that as a pure prime example. Harmless. No. The co-workers comes over. His name is Jason. Thank you, Jason. Um, 
Really appreciate it, because if it was for you, I probably would have thrown hands with this bitch, and I probably would have been on the 9 o'clock news. Jason comes over and says, what's wrong? This woman comes over to Jason, puts her arms back on the desk. I cannot believe you have someone working here who promotes boys using girls' toys. He's not a girl, he's a boy. He should have boys' toys only. And at this point, I'm like, uh, I'm not going to say nothing, because there's so much I want to say. Let me just shut up, okay? Shush. Somebody's calling my name. Hush. Hush. Somebody's calling my name. Jason's like, Skylar, what's going on? I start explaining to him. So I told her, a boy comes up to me, her son, and asks, you know, where are the girls' toys? I tell him, any of these toys are for a girl or for a boy. That's what I said. He left, came back. I guess he told his mother. That wasn't his fault, though. That was not his fault. It's the mother's fault for reacting the hell that, the way that she's reacting about it. That's what I told him. And he says, ma'am, you know, is this right? Is she is she correct? She said, no. My son said, my son said, my son said, get, get, get. my son said that you said that any of these toys here, that he says he's a boy and he can have a girl's toy if he wants to. You said that you could put a princess tiara on his head and you wouldn't mind it. And I said, yeah, because that's not my place to mind it. I don't care if you're, you know, I'm, I'm not that type of person. I don't have any kids. But if I were to have children, I wouldn't mind if my son wore a tiara. I wouldn't, I wouldn't care. It's weird. Why do you care about that? Who gives a fuck, weirdo? She's just still going on. I'm looking at him, looking at me, looking at him, looking at me, looking at her, looking at me, over there, looking at her, looking at her, looking at me. And I'm like, Jason, just get the manager because it's obvious we're not going to handle this properly. And he says, okay, I'll be back. And me at this point, she's still yelling at me. I'm not saying a word back to her. At this point, she's basically raging about how trans people are wrong and they're not part of God's will and that God hates trans people. She was just really just going off on trans people for literally no reason at all. I didn't even mention trans people. I was talking to her son. And even if I was, who cares? Because I'm thinking, oh, uh, this will be smooth sailing and the, the manager will just kick her out. Her and her kids will have to leave. They'll just get kicked out. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> I was wrong. Manager comes over. He's like, okay, what's up? Tell me the situation. What's going on? The mother starts ranting on, going on. Same thing, same, she keeps just repeating the same thing. And I'm like, to my manager, I say to him, you know, it's perfectly fine. The way that she words it, he looks over to me and he has the most disappointed look on his face. To me. And I'm like, what you disappointed in me for? And he says, are you sure that's what you said? I said, yes, I'm positive. That's what I said. I'm saying it all boldly and heroic like a, a fucking... Us, uh, 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 you know, uh, T'Challa over here. The power of the Black Panther will be stripped away. Again, I'm in the right, right? Harmless, no. So that's what I, that's what I said. He looks at me, are you sure that's what you said word for word? Yes, that's what I said. He looks at me and he says, ma'am, we're sorry about the inconvenience. We would talk to her right away. You gonna talk to who right away? He says, do you remember what you signed two years ago when you first worked here? And I'm like, yeah, you said I couldn't. And I got, <laughs> for word for word. Yeah, you said I couldn't. And I, like, oh shit. Shit, shit, shitter, boss, dick sucking shit. I was like, God, motherfucking, damn it. I, it didn't even hit me until that point. I said, this is what you were talking about? And he says, yes, that's what we were talking about. How she's wording it and you're repeating it back to me. I'm afraid I can't do anything about this because we told you that you were not allowed to mention, I guess under law, under a certain law, I guess I mentioned sexuality and sexuality. I don't want to say trans rights because I don't think that's what he said. I don't. I really don't give a fuck what he said. But he said, under law, you did mention one of those topics. And we told you not to. So therefore, we can't get her about this. 
because technically she's right. You know, and I'm sitting here like, I I feel so, I feel so damn stupid because it didn't even hit me until it was too late. Like, oh, fuck. I'm like, but that's not what I meant. Like, that's not, I'm over here trying to defend myself. That's not what I meant. He says to me, I know what you meant, but since due to the way that you worded it, I can't do nothing. And he says, ma'am, you know, we'll write her up. Will that make you feel better? Yes, that'll make me feel better. You know what she looks like now that I think about it? Y'all remember that episode of Spongebob? Old woman come in to eat and they and she don't like uh, Krabby Patties and she, has, she ends up getting her cop husband and she ends up shutting the whole place down you know crabby patties crabby patties i think there's well crabby crab you know you know that episode the old woman that's what she looked like i'm just defeated and jason looks at me and he's like oh yeah he did say we can't talk we can't talk about that I, I, yeah he's right i can't help you either my hands are tied and she's like yeah that'll make me feel better if you write her up i kind of want to cry now that i'm thinking about it because I was actually in line for being one of the managers at Zebra Crib. But what happens is, if you get written up, that's out the window. You're not allowed to get written up as a manager. I was in line. I worked here for two years. And I, I'm actually a pretty great, pretty great employee. I'd had my fair share of moments. But overall, I'm a great employee. And they were considering putting me in line for one of the managers. I can't have that anymore because a woman... I guess her fucking, uh, I guess her son's masculinity was so fucking harmed that she thought it was okay to write up. I don't even really, to be honest with you, I don't even know what the fuck I did. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna be truly honest with you. I don't know what I said wrong. I wasn't even, I wasn't even thinking about trans rights or, or uh, sexuality or none of that. I would just simply said any of these toys here for a boy or for a girl. I wasn't even, that wasn't even in my mind, I guess, as I was talking about that. I didn't even know. I was just like, it just came out. And I guess in a way, that's wrong. I can't say that. I can't say that. I guess I worded it wrong or or the sentence came out wrong. But overall, I guess I'm not allowed to say that. So I got written up. So not only is my day ruined, I just got home from work. This just happened today. I just got home, put this outfit on to make me feel better. Because I'm bitter. Oh, yes. New period. New tempo. I'm extremely bitter this entire situation if it wasn't for that stuck up hood rat ghetto saltine american i probably would have still been in line for the manager and i wouldn't have to talk about this sorry camera died <sighs> anyways had hair in my mouth uh -huh, yuck my spirit man's people care. This whole ordeal, I'm just borderline upset and I asked the manager, can I go home early? And when I say early, I do mean now. And he says, I don't think that's necessary. I'm like, oh no, I don't think you understand. I'll tear it up in here. I'm very bitter, I'm very angry, and this shouldn't have never happened. Can I just please go home? Can I just, can, seriously, can I just go home? I will, I will literally come back earlier tomorrow if you want me to. Please just let me come home. Just, can I, can I just, can I just go home? For the rest of the day. I want to go home. Can I please go home? And he says, okay, whatever. Just come back tomorrow. Bet. I go outside and call my mom. Does anyone else call their mom when they're like under situations? If they're really stressed and they just need somebody to vent off to, they always call their mom. That's what I do. So I call my mom. And <laughs> it's quite funny now that I'm thinking about it. I, go, I call my mom on the phone. And <laughs> the first thing that I say Cause I'm crying because I'm angry and I'm frustrated. I only cry when I'm frustrated. I never cry when I'm sad. I cry when I'm really, really angry and I don't know how to express my anger. So it just bows up and I just start crying. I call my mom. Mom! Like, <laughs> that's exactly how I sounded. Like, I I'm trying to make fun of myself, but I'm being serious. I'm all, I'm all over the phone. Mom! Like, I'm literally shaking. I'm like, mom! Well, let me get a, let me get a real phone. So I'm like this, I'm like, mom, mommy. And she's like, what's wrong with you? And I'm telling her what's happening. I'm shaking and I'm, and I'm like, mom, and then she yelling me. It's really not funny, but it, it, if you would have, if you were next to me or if you would have been outside of me, I think you kind of let out a little choke or two. I was so angry. 
And my mom says, well, calm down, sweetie. Do you want me to come and get you? And I'm like, yes, please come get me. I'm going to spare. I'm going to hit the hook. Like, I'm just, <laughs> I'm better now. But, like, at that point, I was so pissed. I was so angry. I was like, mom, come get me now before I tear this shit down. I'm going to tear this place apart. I was bitter. Your son was completely innocent of all this. It's, I'm sorry that your son has such a terrible mother, such a bitchy mother, such a over complaining Karen mother. Ooh, like you can't even tell me. It was I wrong? Shit, the way she was making, the way she was yelling at me, maybe it seemed like I was wrong. Because it's, at certain points, half of the, the, the zebra crib was staring at us because she was so loud. Like Jesus fucking Christ, like do you need a homegirl sound like a damn megaphone? Don't do that to me. You're scaring me. Mm, this mm, could let me slide with that. I guess he was just doing his job. My manager was just doing his job. I guess in a way, I I, I should have thought about it more clearly. I should have really shut the fuck up and just really looked at him fucking stupid because that was a dumbass question. It really was. Now that I think about it, it was a really a dumb question. Like, is there any? What? Well, I guess I shouldn't say that because my, my, they're gonna look at this video. Are they gonna look? I don't really give a fuck. Fire me! I triple. I triple dog dare you to fucking fire me. I'm one of the best employees that you've ever had. I want you to fire me. Please, actually don't. No. I actually like working there. I don't mind working there. That's it. And to that woman that did this to me, you could have done this to anybody else, but you decided you gonna you gonna you gonna you 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 gonna, you, you gonna take me like a, a, a baby. Literally, how can you do this to me? I wasn't even trying to do your son like that. I uh, your son had your son had no business having such a horrible, terrible mother. You weird as fuck, bro. That's the weirdest energy I've ever heard, bro. How you gonna sit here and act like and act like like you really gonna like you, 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 I'm stuttering so hard because like like you really out here doing this bullshit. You 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 like you really think that you cute, bro. I'll fuck you up, bro. Don't let me catch you in the streets, ma. Cause I will fuck you up. Because I'm not at I'm not at work, and I will and I will molly up your shit. I will pistol whip you. And the only reason why I'm not gonna kill you because you got kids, and I feel sorry for that. I feel sorry for your kids because you 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 try to fuck you. You stupid, bro.